All right, so you're probably wondering what am I doing in Pennsylvania and a little background story I hooked up with my friends Leslie and Troy with Heroes Outdoor Therapy and actually went on a photo shoot uh, with Leslie and she was fishing down in Alabama two three in the morning I got bored I think they felt sorry for me and they let me chuck one out and actually catch a catfish and I caught a 41 pound blue and I've kind of been hooked so we started talking about this idea of maybe I would come back out and fish with them sometime um, and really do it for, for me and actually make an episode out of it. So that's what we're doing. We're going to make uh, this episode and introduce you to catfishing if you've never done it. It's not, we're not noodling. This is all rod and reel from a boat and we're actually going to be hitting the Potomac tomorrow. Um, I always talk about people first and product second. So I leaned on them because I don't know this world. I'm a bow hunter. I'm more camo tree stands mountains. This is their world that they operate. They live and breathe. So went to them and just basically said, who are the good companies to work with? I want to work with good people and good products. Let them kind of take the reins and be the point on all of this. And what we've come up with is we've got Tackle Bandit, which is a company that's got pretty much everything, top to bottom, rods, line, hooks, everything. Um, Cast King, we're going to be using some Cast King reels, and then they've got some grippers and scales and that kind of stuff. Um, Caleb from Catch the Fever and Slime Line, uh, we're going to use their rods and some of their line. We've also got some Cast King braided line as well, which is really good. We've got Nocturnal, um, Nocturnal Nation, uh, their catfishing hooks. And these things look like they would catch sharks, and I'm pretty sure they will. We've also got some Livingston lures as well. Cat River Anchors, uh, I know John and Christy, I've done some work for them already. And of course, we've got Grizzly Cooler, and um, yeah, Troy, why Livingston lures? Um, Livingston is something that Leslie and I came across. Uh, we use a Carolina rig, uh -huh. and basically that is our leader which uh, we have our bait on. Livingston sure. uh, uh, offers a top water lure, okay. but we take the hooks off and use it as a float. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So what we're trying to do is get our bait, if our, our weight's in the back and our float is here, we want to get our, our, our bait up into the strike zone. And what's unique about Livingston is they uh, there's different sounds that these produce. They're battery operated. Oh, cool. So this one here uh, puts out a shad sound, so it's very natural to them. A catfish yeah. is yeah. a... And they like shad. They like shad. Yep. Um, a catfish is a very sensory fish. It has the whiskers, everything. Mm -hmm. It's a murky water, so it's using those senses to find the bait. And this is putting out some noise. Yeah, that makes sense, because that water, I mean, every time I've been catfishing with you guys or, mm -hmm. or seen it, I mean, it's always real that dark, nasty, kind of brackish water, muddy water, and I would guess... That's what those little whiskers are doing. <laughs> they're one of the sensors that they have. Yeah, that's really cool. So we're gonna have the we're gonna have the scent going down back, uh -huh. which that creates a scent trail, just yeah. like you're hunting. And uh -huh. You have the, the one trail. Yeah. So a catfish will follow that scent up to the bait. Right. This puts out an electric sound of a bait fish either in the strip, them a little more. and that's going three hunt all the way around, yeah. so it can pull more fish in quickly. So Zonix will not work underwater, so we can't <laughs> we can't do scent control. We're actually going to see if we can trick them. And then we've got the Nocturnal Nation. Their hooks. Now they're based out of Indiana. They're they're out of Indiana. Yep. A great group of guys. They custom. Uh, they hand sharpen. They do custom bends on their hooks. Um, very, very sharp. Look at this thing. Uh, the hook you're holding there would be a hybrid hook. Yeah. Uh, which means we'll either let the fish hook itself, uh -huh. or we can actually set the hook if we have a light bite. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. That was one thing that whenever I was fishing with Leslie before, I was thinking like, the only thing I, I'm thinking bass. I'm just like, oh, I got to set it. And they're like, it's already, you know, if it's on, it's, it's on, on, right? right? Yeah. So that is legit. I mean, I've seen them like that's like shark stuff. You know what I mean? But you guys are not fishing for little little catfish. I mean, you're going for big cats. We we target trophy catfish. Yeah. And um, it's you got to get a lot of the small ones out of the way to get to the big sure. ones, and those will definitely handle the big. No ones. one and two year olds. We're not fishing for those. We're we're letting them uh, letting them grow. Let them go to let them grow, right? Or all, we're Booner. We're Booner catfishing. I like it. Absolutely. All right. Uh, Cast King. I know you guys have been running a lot of Cast King products. Leslie, you know, runs a lot of stuff. So we've got a bunch of their reels. 
um, and accessories and stuff as well. Cast King, we, uh, we've been with them, uh, or Leslie's been with them for a couple years. I've been using their product uh, as long as she has. Really great stuff. A lot of ingenuity goes into their products, their yep. raws, their reels, and it's, it's very affordable for the catfish. I've noticed that. I, I went to their website, uh, and I dig that. I mean, a lot of times with my hunting stuff, I go for really, really high quality, and admittedly, some of it's very expensive. Mm -hmm. And the whole, you get what you pay for only goes so far. Absolutely. Sometimes people need a good product that's not going to break the bank. And from what I saw with a lot of the casking stuff, it is very affordable. And if you guys say it's good quality, then I know it's good quality too. Absolutely. That's pretty cool. Um, like I said, Tackle Bandit, Nate uh, met him at some of the Catmasters mm -hmm. tournaments. He always hauls a big trailer. And um, so if guys are at the tournament and they snap a rod or they need accessories or they forgot their sinkers or whatever, he's got that kind of stuff there. So that was cool to see him him come on board. Um, slime line. Caleb was one of the first guys that I met kind of outside of that inner circle, you know what mm -hmm. I mean, uh, with you guys. But um, they seem to be killing it on the marketing side as well. Oh, uh, Slime Line, what Caleb, uh, their stuff is putting out, really good product. Uh -huh. Everything that is on this table right here, I mean, there have been probably a 100 pound catfish caught, not on this stuff specifically, sure, sure. but guys have been using it and, and this stuff it works amazing. Yeah, that's cool. And then we've got the Catch the Fever rods. They're actually in the tube here the behind tube, us, yep. so we're gonna be breaking that stuff out. and and. I don't know what you call it, spooling it up, reeling it up. We're we're starting from ground zero. Yeah. So we gotta build all these build all these rod and reels and get everything set up and and which is kinda cool because I wanted to be a part of that process to see how it goes. It also allows me to learn more about the equipment as Troy's doing it, and I'm just basically gonna be holding the flashlight like back in the day when you were holding a flashlight for your dad. So um, and I'll be able to learn a lot of that stuff. Cat River anchors over here. These things are an absolute beast, aren't they? These, if you do not have one of these, please look them up. This is one of the best anchors on the yeah. market. Um, it says Cat River Anchors. It doesn't matter if you need your boat anchored up. Yeah, any boat. Anchor. Any boat. Yeah. This is this is the one to have. And I mean, what I like about these is you can see here. So it's got just a simple zip tie that's holding that on there. Once this thing catches on a ledge. We've all been on a boat, I even myself, with my limited experience, you get on a boat and you end up having to circle the ledge to try to free, you know, free the anchor up. Mm -hmm. Well, what this does is when you yank on it, it snaps that, that zip tie, and now you're pulling from the head. So imagine if this is your, your ledge and your anchor's up underneath it, you can't pull it that way, but you can pull it this way. So that's super nice. It kind of changes that, I don't know, is it fulcrum point or whatever you want to, the terminology is on that, but um, it's super concept and obviously they're well built. You know, they're, they're tanks. We, uh, we actually shot a commercial for Cat River Anchors mm -hmm. and poor John, I made him chuck the anchor like 25, <laughs> 30 times. And he was, a, he was a sport about it. He was a good sport. And I'm like, look, because once I leave, if I didn't get the shot, I didn't get the shot and there's no way to recreate it. So just keep tossing it. And he, and he did a good job until the last one. And finally I saw him like, you know, put his hands on his knees. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and, and one of the things with this design, once it's hooked in, if you, you, know, you see the flukes, how they're flared out. Yep. When you have your current coming down, it's providing more pressure on these wide That's flukes awesome. in order to dig it in. Makes sense. I didn't even think about that. So. Um, of course, and we've also got Grizzly coolers back here. Uh, my buddy Ethan over there actually sent, sent us a bright orange one. I wanted one to stand out. Um, cool thing about the Grizzly coolers is they're all obviously they're all rotor molded, high quality. They also they have the ruler on top, um, which is legit. It's been checked and verified. Um, obviously, if you're going to do a fishing tournament series, you want to verify it with their ruler before you start. But um, we've got a bright orange one for bait. And then Leslie and Troy, they've got the big daddy. Uh, Leslie actually took this on a hog hunt and had some hog stuff in there. So, um, been with Grizzly Coolers a long time. They actually work with me on, on the hunting side as well. Um, so it's pretty cool to see them dabbling in the, uh, in the catfishing stuff. And then obviously we have the Heroes Outdoor Therapy uh, banner and uh, decal and stuff on here. Like I said, all this is possible with Heroes Outdoor Therapy. I was myself was not in the military. I was the first responder. Um, but as I know these guys, I've got the utmost respect for vets. 
uh, love the military and support it 100%. And I love what they're doing with their organization, their nonprofit. I've seen them do some really cool stuff with some vets and I get to be the lucky one that just gets to be a fly on the wall and take pictures of all the smiling faces of everybody enjoying the outdoors. So um, big, big kudo. Check them out. If anybody is looking for a nonprofit to support or you want to get involved or hear a vet, um, Heroes Outdoor Therapy is one 100% I put my name behind. So I'm ready to get started, man. I'm ready to tear into this stuff and and start watching you do a bunch of work because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but I'm gonna learn, I'm gonna learn. So here we go.